Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome everyone back to another Black Ops 3 video. Today I've got you guys an awesome video regarding the new DLC which we'll be getting out in a few days. Obviously it's DLC number one, the Awakening DLC and basically the Zombies DLC is called Der Eisendracken uh, but that from German to English is called the Iron Wolf and basically if you guys didn't know about a few days ago, I'm guessing most of you have seen it, uh, but Call of Duty uploaded a Der Eisendracken trailer for us to see what the new map will look like and a ton of youtubers and people uh did not look pretty much closely uh to the actual trailer because there's a ton of stuff a ton of zombie youtubers and a lot of people that have missed but in today's video what i'm going to be doing is showing you guys a ton of little easter eggs in the trailer that some of you may have missed and we're going to be seeing when uh the, obviously the dlc for der eisendracken does come out so if you do enjoy the video be sure to smash that like button down below and let's get into it so the first thing i noticed in the trailer that i didn't see a lot of people bring up was that the razorback is coming to zombies within in Black Ops 3 as you guys can see in this screenshot basically Nikolai is holding uh, the Razorback as you can see on the screen as well and uh, as you know for a fact if you don't play Shadows of Evil or the Giant that much uh, well pretty much the Razorback wasn't in any of those maps I'm not sure why but to be honest as you guys know for a fact the Razorback has a ton of good accuracy because it's the most accurate submachine gun in the game it shoots super fast just imagine this thing pack a punch with uh, double tap it will be absolutely amazing in zombies your headshots on those zombies will be absolutely beast because you'll just be headshotting them and they'll be dying easy so seeing the razor back back into eisendracken in the new dlc is going to be sweet let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about that so heading over to the next thing which i noticed within the game and so did quite a bit of people on reddit is that the elkar 9 is going to be coming to der eisendracken now not the normal elkar 9 that we saw back into the giant map but it's actually the elkar 9 dual wielded version and what's pretty cool is that we can buy it off the wall now normally speaking i don't think there has been a option to ever buy a dual wielded weapon on the wall out of all the zombies i could be mistaken but it is pretty cool to see it because we'll be able to buy it on the wall we can pack a punch it easier and to be honest it'll definitely be a cool weapon to experiment and pack a punch because i did use it in the giant it's not too much bad of a weapon but when you get to those high rounds it doesn't do that well but elkar 9 dual wield is going to be something pretty cool uh, that we can see in the future the next thing that most of you guys probably already know about this map is that it's pretty much going to be linked or intertwined with moon from black ops 1 so as you guys can see right here from this screenshot uh this is during the trailer these is what these are one of the monitors uh in this room and more or less what it's showing is bird's eye view of the map moon from black ops 1 zombies as you guys can see right here uh which is pretty cool there's a ton of theories about why moon is being projected on these tvs and more or less the main theory is that the rockets uh, that we see in the Der Eisendracken trailer is going to be sent to blow up moon or go to moon. There's a ton of theories. I'm not sure, but if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comment section down below. Not only that, but also in this screenshot right here, we can actually see the huge dome of the moon map in Black Ops 1, which is obviously awesome. Getting these little Easter eggs are sweet. And once we get our hands on uh, when playing the Iron Wolf DLC, we're going to be able to see uh, how well uh, the moon is actually intertwined within this map to see all the cool easter eggs which is going to be absolutely amazing and heading over to the last thing what i noticed within uh the black ops 3 der eisendracken trailer was the gravity spikes now a lot of people on reddit were looking at this as well but they were kind of on the fence about it but as you can see with the panzer to the right of his arm you can actually see what a lot of people think is element 115 or a storage for it but when the person uses gravity spikes in the gameplay, as you can see, it has the same blue element as what the Panzer has. And a lot of people are saying that you have to kill the Panzer in order to unlock the parts for the gravity spikes to build the wonder weapon or you can kill the panzer for the gravity spikes but what i'm going to predict is that you're going to have to kill the panzer for the gravity spikes but 
also a lot of people say that it's just element 115 on the panzer but it's a little bit of theory going behind that in my honest opinion it pr you probably do have to kill the panzer in order to go ahead and get the gravity spikes but nonetheless guys that is going to be the video for today those are some little uh things or little easter eggs i saw within the der eisen draken easter egg uh that a lot of people looked over and i think it's pretty cool that i found these to show you guys so if you've already known about it let me know in the comment section down below hope you guys have enjoyed if you want me to do some more zombies videos let me know in the comment section as well hope you've enjoyed if you have drop it a thumbs up and i will catch you guys later globe out